We're the Wendigo Twins. Twins. I'm Nicolola. And I'm Kiwi Quasar. And welcome to our channel. Hello. So what are we all about? We're about horror everything. Horror games, horror movies, horror clothing, horror life. And cute. So we're into the creepy cute mixture. Mm -hmm. Like adorable and fun, but also a little dark. And twisted. <laughs> dark and twisted, we're down. Yeah, we're down. So what kind of games? like to play? What are your favorites? Like, what are your top, my top choices? Well, my number one favorite is The Last of Us. Mm -hmm. I like it because it's unconventional. It's a little different than the normal horror survival game. Uh, I do like the whole heartwarming father-daughter aspect of it. I'm a sucker for feels. Yeah, oh. You don't see that much in games. No. It's usually a mother thing. Even it's then, mother. it's rare. Mm -hmm. So having that, that Joel, though. That Joel! Oh, that Joel, man! Beardy Joel! Mm, good stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Good stuff. Nothing hotter. <laughs> what about you? Oh, you like? uh, my top, I would have to say is Resident Evil. I think that's what I grew up on. That's what I loved. I loved the zombies. I loved how scared I was the very first time I played it. I know it's kind of cliche, but when the dogs jumped through the window the first time, that shit. Mm. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> Boom! My heart exploded! Uh, and even Resident Evil 2, I was like, I played it by myself for the first I was a oh, little, little awesome. child. And I was like, <laughs> this is so scary. Why are people oh. letting me play it? But it got bad over the years. But damn, those those games, yeah. so fun. Mm -hmm. What's like the scariest game that you played? Oh, I think I... the last like really scary thing that I played would have been PT. PT. Oh my god, oh, it still hurts. It still hurts, it still hurts because oh. it's so good, and I wanted to see what was gonna come of that. But why cannot be? Why cannot be? Why, why you got hurt us like that? Yeah, why I know. Hurt us? Can you just make it up? Make but up. there's a lot of successors coming out that are there really is. heavily inspired by PT, and I think they're gonna be good. They all look really intense yeah. and like beautiful, we're, like really beautiful. We're still hoping for Allison. Rose. Yeah, I'm still holding, holding out, <laughs> holding out for that sweet Allison Rose. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, let's see. I guess Layers of Fear was pretty scary yeah. for me, and which we're gonna also play later on in our channel. Did you ever play Clock Tower? I did not. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my god, Clock Tower. We're gonna have to play that on here. Clock Tower was one of the first survival horror games I played, and that was scary. Oh, was it? I mean, going back now, I think <laughs> it's gonna look a little silly, but if you guys remember when that came out with Scissor Man, oh. that was, oh, my heart. <laughs> my heart. Can't dig it. It's too much. It's too much. Alright, so what kind of things are we going to be showing on our channel? Well, we're going to be primarily playing horror games, survival horror games. Anything that's scary, anything that's messed up, anything that's a little creepy cute maybe. Um, so any suggestions, feel free to leave in the comments. Yeah. We're always looking for new games to play. We love obscure mm -hmm. and indie ones too because those are like hidden gems that are yeah. not really like well recognized. Mm -hmm. Like Among the Sneak was yeah. pretty, pretty good. I mm -hmm. loved it. Fog Witch. Fog Witch. Fog Witch for life. I know. That's going to be my next shirt. Or Go. any. <laughs> or any, like, they don't have to be exactly, like, super terrifying, or just it can be atmospheric. Soma. Uh, Soma, was, Soma wasn't scary, it but, was scary, it, was, but it, was, like, it had that, that feeling of isolation. Yeah. It was very terrifying. And I think it worked really well. And also the whole concept of like what it means to be human and what mm. consciousness means. I mean, it was just, it was real deep. And I found it, it very frightening, it, honestly. Yeah. yeah, I was really. Well, it you gives you like that, more of like a mental. You have that fear of the deep sea. I do. I don't and like the deep sea. The sea. Creatures, but you I eat all the things of the sea. That's my revenge. <laughs> that's how I, I take a piece of it. You just never know. I do. It could be dinosaurs. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> the ocean's so big and vast. Scoopy for us. Too scoopy. Because, you know, I don't know about you, but I like the adrenaline. I like to be scared. Yeah. I like to see what's going on. And plus, honestly, like, I actually really appreciate watching the videos and laughing yeah. at ourselves. Yeah. We it's get fun. Crazy. It's fun to have those memories. memories. With friends. And enemies. <laughs> I like things that are psychological or silent now. Best example. I like things that kind of mess with my mind. Things that really make me think. I like things that make me question humanity and what it means to exist. I like that kind of stuff. Uh, I like just when reality is just not quite there. I think I feel right at home. <laughs> I feel right at home. I agree. What does that say about me? <laughs> she can write. <laughs> <laughs> just a little 
but I do appreciate those as well. Mm -hmm. um, I am big into like a whole supernatural aspect, ghosts, demons, goblins, yeah. all kinds of like, scary supernatural mm -hmm. shit. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Cause like, I don't know, you never know. It's creepy that, real bad. It's that fear of the unknown. Unknown, yeah. Because like logically you know it's not real, but yeah. there's always that little piece of you in the back. I think that really, really primal feeling where we're like, this could happen and I gotta protect myself at all costs. Yeah, I'm not into that. Mm -hmm. And of course I do like, I can't have too much of the heavy psychological fucked up stuff because I'm actually the kind of person that will take that, internalize it, and I'll be like, in my bed awake at night going, oh my god! <laughs> like, someone really fucked with me. <laughs> I was like, oh! Just weeks later, still thinking about uh, it. I, yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. I was like, is this is this my conscience? Is, is it me or not? <laughs> just never fucking know. Just never know. You know what, just watch it. You'll see all about us, our personalities, with them out and all that stuff. So, anyways, um, you can find us at Instagram. Instagram, we got the Twitter, Twitters. we got the Twitch, we got the YouTube, which you're watching, so you already know no, that one. I mean, just wherever. Just you can like, follow like, us. Like, subscribe, everything. Just like, subscribe, <laughs> comment on everything. You can find us at Windigo Twins. Yep. You can find me at Nuka Lola. Kiwi Quasar. And if you have any questions, just reach out to us. We're always love to talk to you guys, see what's new, see what's going on in your lives. If you have any suggestions, feel free. Yep. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to have you guys join us for our evening dinners and games. <laughs> Hope you'll be scared with us. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later, guys. Thanks Bye. for watching. Bye.